So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here with another quick video and today we're going to talk about YouTube TV once again but this time we're going to take a different spin, a different look at everything. So I know you guys seen the title of this video, is the price increase of YouTube TV actually saving you money? <laughs> I'm asking you guys to bear with me a little bit and we're gonna kind of dissect what I'm getting at. So you guys know that every year I do my best streaming services of 2019, 2020. I haven't done my 2020 yet. So when I get to that point, I will be sharing my opinion on YouTube TV. But the backstory is that YouTube TV is probably one of the best streaming services out there. Still one of the best streaming services out there, even with the price increase. The features that they've added from the channels to the to the DVR to the interface, just an overall good look and the price hike doesn't automatically make them the worst. So backstory for anyone that hasn't been following this, YouTube TV used to be $50, recently raised their prices to $65 after signing a deal with Viacom CBS. Now with that deal, they added eight new channels. So BET, CMT, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, Paramount, TV Land, and VH1. Now they did also announce that at a later date they will be adding a couple more channels, uh, BET Her, MTV2, MTV Classics, Nick Jr., Nick Toons, and T Nick. So uh, question there is, are they gonna raise their prices again? I can't see them adding another dime or else people will just go crazy. But back to my original question, is this saving you money? Now the reason I'm asking this question is because I've done YouTube TV reviews over the past two or three years and 25 to 45% of the people that actually has YouTube TV, they actually pair that service with Philo TV or Sling. But mostly I see a lot of Philo subscriptions in there to combine with YouTube TV. So the main reason why folks are pairing that service with YouTube TV is the fact that Philo offers some of those Viacom CBS channels and it's only $20 a month. So essentially the channels that you're now getting from YouTube TV are the reason why people have that second subscription. So if you want to look at it a different way, YouTube TV essentially is giving those subscribers what they want and it comes at a $5 discount to be honest, maybe a little bit more when you factor in taxes and fees. So now people will have no reason to have two subscription what they'll do now is just drop follow, drop sling, whatever else they had going, and just use YouTube TV for everything. So you put that together and you're paying $20 for Philo plus another 50 for YouTube TV when it was that price. That's $70 plus another $5 per service for the taxes. That's up to $80. Now with YouTube TV bringing those channels over, $65 plus another five, you're looking at about $70. So if you were one of those people that actually had both services, this is actually saving you a little bit of money. I know the majority of you don't. A lot of people saying they're gonna cancel, but I think there's a not so small group that actually is happy about this change. Now that they can put everything into one user interface and have those YouTube TV features, that cloud DVR, the unlimited DVR, the nice looking user interface, the support and backing of YouTube TV. So please drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Also, I will be leaving a poll in the top right of this video. Just curious, wanted to see how many people actually are happy for the switch. How many people actually had that Philo combination with the YouTube TV and now they're saving a little bit of money. Drop your comments in the comment section. Keep it respectful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.